In this video, we'll transform your apps from an outdated and boring look to a fresh, modern style inspired by Windows 11's Fluent design. Everything will be linked in the description. Transform your explorer with a fluent look. Start by visiting the Explorer Blur Mika GitHub page, download the x64 release, unzip the file, and move it to your preferred location. Next, register the application by opening register.cmd as administrator. Your files will now be displayed on a sleek sheet of glass with light and dark mode support. Even the scroll bar will be modernized. The default theme is acrylic, but you can change it to the Windows 11 Mika effect. To do this, right click on the config file in the same folder, click edit, go to the effect setting and change it to a value of 2. Open file, click save or use Ctrl S to save your changes. All customization options are explained in the config section of the GitHub page. The text in the red is the actual code and the text after hashtags explains what the code does. For example, an effect value of 0 is blur, 1 is acrylic, 2 is mika, 3 is clear blur, and 4 is mika old. I wanted to make the address bar have a solid background color because the boundaries of the search box and address bar aren't very clear. This should be possible from the config options by changing clear address from true to false. But the only way I could get it to work was by making the entire upper portion of Explorer have a solid color by changing the WinUI BG value to false. The theme has not caused me any major problems so far. Occasionally, when I change the system theme or config values, I get some random glitches, but these are fixed by closing and reopening File Explorer. If something happens that crashes Explorer, press and hold the Escape key to open Explorer and uninstall the program. Modernize KubeTorrent, go to the KubeTorrent Fluent theme, GitHub page, and download the theme you prefer. There are several themes available. You can choose with or without Mika effect, dark or light modes, and default icons or fluent icons. I like the default icons with the Mika effect. Next, download the Mika for Everyone installer and .NET 3.1, which is important for Mika for Everyone to work and go through the setup process. To install the theme, navigate to Options, Behavior, Interface, Enable Use Custom UI Theme, select the theme file path, and restart the app. Set up Mika for Cube Torrent by clicking Add Process, typing Cube Torrent, setting the backdrop type to Mika, changing the title bar color to System, and enabling Extend Frame into Client Area. Mika for Everyone caused Fluent Search to have a white background under it, but this issue resolved after restarting the system. If Mika for Everyone makes unwanted changes to your PC, set all other rules to default and toggle options off. If you'll be using this theme often, make Mika for Everyone run on startup. Note that when using themes that have Mika, changing the system theme will make the UI hard to read. Because Mika for Everyone, as it is set in the settings right now, adapts the background color of Cubit Torrent based on the system theme. You will have to manually change the Cubit Torrent theme between light and dark modes. The solution to this is to choose only one theme, either dark or light mode, and then set the title bar color in Mika for everyone to match the chosen theme. For example, if you choose a dark Cubit Torrent theme, set the Mika for everyone title bar color to dark. Another issue is that when you use a light theme, the file explorer open dialog displays white text making it unreadable. I have managed to fix this problem by matching title bar color with the cube torrent theme. For the least amount of headaches, I recommend you use a dark theme or use a theme that doesn't have meek. Despite these quirks, I like how much of the program gets redesigned. There is obviously a lot of effort that went into this. Hidden windows, context menus, buttons, and options are all redesigned. To modernize Discord, start by downloading Replugged from its website, running the installer and completing the setup process. Note that using Replugged violates Discord's terms of service. But for now, Discord is not going out of their way to detect client mods or ban client mod users. Visit the Replugged GitHub page for more details. Next. Download the Discord 11 theme from the Better Discord website. Open Discord, go to Settings, 
scroll down to Replact and click on Quick CSS. Right click on the Discord 11 theme file you just downloaded, click Edit, copy the code and paste it in Discord. The Discord 11 theme makes buttons more rounded, adds the Windows 11 line found under search boxes and adds a blue highlight throughout the interface. The main window is also rounded. However, there are some issues with Discord 11, such as the oddly halved add friend button and glitchy server indicator. I prefer the dark mode as it makes the UI easier to navigate and also has less bugs, while the light mode similar colors can be overwhelmed. Another theme I like is Fluent Discord, which adds more acrylic effects and is actually more polished than Discord 11. To modernize Spotify, start by downloading Spicetify by copy pasting the installation command into a normal PowerShell terminal, not as administrator. Once installed, a marketplace button will appear when you launch Spotify. Open it, click more than themes and search for Bloom. Download it and click reload now. The Bloom theme adds a big floating window at the bottom that blurs anything behind it along with Windows 11 looking sliders and button highlights. There are also some redesigned context menus. Change themes, open the marketplace, go to themes and choose the theme that you like from the drop down menu. There are some bugs like the pause button not being centered and occasional slowdowns, but overall it provides a decent experience. There are other themes in this style you might want to try by searching for Fluent, like Lucid which turns the album cover into a background and adds acrylic blur effects throughout the interface. To modernize OBS, start by opening the Fluent Dark theme link and downloading the theme. Unzip the folder, press Windows plus R and type percent %update percent, then navigate to OBS Studio, then Themes. If Themes folder doesn't exist, create one. Now move Fluent Dark folder into it. Ensure the folder structure looks correct. There needs to be a folder called Fluent Dark and a dot .qss file. Restart OBS Studio, then go to Settings, General, and select Fluent Dark in the Themes dropdown. I've had no issues so far with this theme. It's working perfectly. The default theme looks great, but I found the text size a bit too small. To adjust it, open the config file Press Ctrl F, search for font size and change it from 10 to 12 points. I also change the font to Aptos, Microsoft's new font. You can choose any font you like. I'll leave the Aptos download link in the description. If you prefer not to tweak the settings yourself, I'll leave my configuration in the description. Just remember to install the Aptos font to ensure everything looks right. To modernize VS Code, start by running. VS Code as administrator, this is important, the extension won't work otherwise. Open the extensions tab and search for Fluent UI for VS Code, download it, open the command palette with Ctrl Shift B run Fluent UI enable and reload when prompted. VS Code will display a notification saying that the installation is corrupt. The maker of the extension says that that's normal because VS Code sees the installation as corrupt since the HTML file is now changed. Just click the cog on the message and select Don't Show Again. The theme adds fluent icons, transparent windows, and makes the interface more rounded. To modernize Telegram, download Unigram from the Microsoft Store. Unigram adds Mika effects and smooth animations, improving the look and feel of Telegram. It also provides a complete redesign of the settings app with animated fluent icons. I also think there are more settings than the regular app. One useful feature I found in Unigram is the ability to change the download location for files, a functionality I had been looking for in the regular Telegram app but couldn't find. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.